got away to quite a good start. We are in the top four or five, went down the first leg. We were about to put our first tack in. Suddenly we heard a big bang. I thought we may have hit something. But yeah, almighty bang, and all of a sudden the rig's in the water, the mainsail's in the water, the headsail's in the water. But thankfully, it didn't fall on any other boat. It hasn't, so far that we can see right now, damaged the hull. Both sails seem to be intact, and Peter and I are both fine. I think oh, I'm just, if it's going to happen anyway, it's better to happen close to shore and when there's people around who can help you out. And at the end of the day, we're both safe, and I think I'm twist their finger now, that's about it. And, you know, hopefully, at Quebec and Milo, if they can build a rig within the next six weeks, maybe we motor the boat up to Quebec and maybe a rig gets brought up some other way and gets stepped up there, and that's prob probably the most realistic race we can aim for. Um, who knows, we can go and try and charter a boat and maybe, if we're lucky, we go and do a few more races in between, but who knows. As initially, you just, kind of look at the situation and think I've got to, got to clear this up because we've got a spreader swinging around and a mast banging against the hull and a lot of sail in the water and we're drifting. Thankfully we weren't in a place where we were going to hit the bottom particularly quickly because um, that would have been insult to injury. Um, I think it was going to take a little while to sink in and then no, it's disappointing. I'm not going to say it's not. We kind of Worked very hard to be here, and this was the first double-handed race of our season. And now I've got to reassess the program and see what we can do, because uh, we can't just pop to a shop and uh, buy one of these rigs off the shelf. It's, it's going to take a bit of planning, but such is life. It could have been a lot worse.